I'm on the new kayak. It's going on its own. I've never been on a pedal drive before. It's a beautiful morning. I'm going really far. First time. Might as well. Let's go. All right, I've officially made it to the Sabine Pass jetties in a kayak. <clears throat> Pretty sure this is it. This is where the current's bad. This is where you could hit a rock if this is not the actual boat cut. I am pushing as hard as I can with this on five. So let's hope I don't flip right here. Current is definitely kicking. I don't know where it's gonna take me. Oh man, this is not cool. <sighs> Alright, we made it. Whew. This is even kind of scarier on this side when it's calm. Through the boat cut, just trying to get through the boat cut. Paddling as hard as I can with my feet with the motor going on five. <sighs> 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 Oh man, my legs hurt. Dude, I'm barely going anywhere. Oh, I think the tide's going out now. And the wind's coming against me. So this is gonna suck. I'm definitely gonna see what this battery's made of. Oh man, I can barely pedal. Alright, I'm shutting up. Alright, I'm not gonna lie, this was a bad decision for a maiden voyage. I've almost capsized a couple times. <clears throat> these uh these swells are coming sideways you can't tell they're not huge but they're sporadic some are bigger than the others and it's constantly pushing me into this rock wall i'm also on five and i'm pedaling pretty much as hard as i can to the point that <clears throat> i'm cramping up so i've been at this for I don't know, 30, 40 minutes. Pushing with both feet without a break. I can't take a break. So my body's probably gonna shut down once I get to a spot where I can shut down. Um, yeah, the hole will come up out of the water where the prop loses juice. Um, the, uh, oh my goodness. What's it called? The fin. <laughs> Let's just call it a fin. Prop on the back. I'm catching cramps in my forearm and my chest muscle from having to hold this thing tight in both directions because it keeps, <laughs> then a swell will tip me and I'll have to lean up on my right side. It's not so bad anymore. I wasn't even filming earlier. Uh, I wasn't thinking about anything other than surfing the tops of these swells. Um, I was also trolling like an idiot. And uh, it was either a jack or a rock. I wasn't going to be able to fight whatever it was. Um, because I can barely control the kayak right now in full motion. Uh, these are the Sabine Pass jetties. This is the old town. Big water. <laughs> Big water. Yeah, well, bigger water than you might be used to in your other kayaks, but not that big of water. Uh, EPDL, so it's got an electric, kind of like a e-bike motor in there. So if I stop, this thing keeps going. Not as fast as I was going. I'm trying to get out of here. Um, I'm close enough now to land and I know the land that I could actually get back to my truck on foot so I feel a little bit better knowing if I had to survive this uh, I'd get out of it with some scrapes I don't know if I'd be able to find my kayak later but uh, yeah this was a tough trip um, depending on how much juice I have in my body and in this battery when I get back to where I'm headed might be a second uh, 
second fishy trip in store. Probably cut it into two videos. One that sucks. <laughs> I just figure out this kayak and try to fish. Yeah, those are some good ones. Ah! Hope you can tell I'm white knuckling this grip. This uh this steering ball right here. Extremely tough. Um, these things are great. Don't recommend coming to speed passing one. Um, the current wasn't supposed to be bad today, uh, but the winds weren't supposed to be either. But it is Sabine Pass. Look how beautiful I want to see this. As gorgeous as it is, treacherous. Sabine Pass, some of the longest jetties for sure in Texas, other than the North Jetty down on Bolivar, uh, which really, it's longer, but a lot of it's still up against the marsh. This is two and a half miles starting from here, uh, which I did two miles of it. Probably more considering the back and forth. Um, and I also did two and a half miles to get to this point of the jetties. So all in all, this EPDL has done really well in terms of uh, power and getting me there. I went by a couple guys catching bait on the way out and they were like, hey man, that thing hauls whatever, you know, fast. And I was like, and I see them go by me about five minutes later. I was like, eh. Thanks for the compliment, but it is really cool. I'm also about to go under Texas Bayou Bridge. That was something. And uh, go fish up in the bayou without ever having to go around or dock or anything. So there's that, I can do that. Which no one was catching fish out here today, really. A few trout, mostly small, water's ugly. So, this thing can do a lot that a boat can't do. Um, you're just not gonna get anywhere really fast, but you'll get there a lot faster than a regular, because you'll have more juice and you can add to that five speed like I'm doing right now. This entire time I've been talking to you, I've been pushing hard. I got cramps in both my thighs. It's really cool. It's crazy. So I'm back to this spot on the jetties. This is how much power I have. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, it doesn't look like you can. Anyway, what it's reading is 37.3 volts showing three fourths power. <laughs> so it started off at 42. So 37, 42, that's five. Five out of let's say 40 is uh, <laughs> it's like 12 and a half percent. Check my math. I didn't use a calculator, but it's somewhere around there. That cannot be the case. I've done over 10 miles in this thing and I never used cruise under five. So I've definitely used cruise for like eight of the miles. Um, I'll do some more math and calculations when I get back. But what I'm trying to say is, is it seems like I barely dented the battery. Now I don't trust batteries, what they say they're reading, just like a phone. You have 80% when you start your day. Two hours later, you haven't used it. You're at 40. I don't understand how they work necessarily or if the readers aren't right or if they, uh, I don't know, there's an increased rate of decay or certain factors that go into that. Temperatures or, of course, usage. But I've been burning this thing. So either the reader's wrong or their estimates on you know, three hours at five is the max for the battery. Definitely wrong. I burned it at two. Probably two hours worth, if I had to guess. Uh, I'm not gonna go back and check all my footage. My knee is cramping up because I've been killing this thing. You hear it kick in, bada boom, bada bing. Gives me that extra boost. I can take my legs off, take a little break. Man, this thing's phenomenal. Uh, super pricey. <sighs> nice trade off for a boat, especially if you like to fish in the marsh and do freshwater fishing. You can get places boats can't go, you can stay places boats can't go. Um, 
Wouldn't recommend it for Sabine Pass jetties. I did it. I dreamt about it. I dreamt about being catching trip until I was one of the poles out there. <laughs> they were not there. The water is ugly. They're on the beach. Five miles that way. Made me wish I had a boat. <laughs> it's all good. Hey, if you have questions about this kayak in particular, or this kayak versus my old 55 pound kayak, um, I don't mind answering questions on comments um, or even emails if you're looking to buy one and are serious about, you know, asking questions to know how it's going to fit for you. I really don't mind uh, answering those, so feel free to drop a comment or even send an email. I'll do my best to get back to those questions.